It's another fine day in Rice Lake. It's negative seven degrees. I think it's about nine in the morning. No wind chill. It's pretty, um, let's see, tolerable right now. Much better than the past few days. I wanted to make another video just to talk a little bit about my experiences with the Copper Cup. Now, I've come to understand that copper has a lot of beneficial properties for our health and um, just the nutrients that it provides can offer st um, stability within our circulatory system. Part of the reason I wanted it, that inspired, uh, part of the reason that inspired me to make this video was because of Dr. Joel Wallach, who's the founder of um, Longevity. He talked about how the, there are uh, essential nutrients uh, that we are not getting he promotes his 90 for life, which are pretty much 90 nutrients. He was giving an example of how some people could live the healthiest they could by living up in the forests and wildcrafting their herbs and hunting and everything. But still, uh, for example, one man died at a premature age from a card cardiovascular disorder uh, due to a copper deficiency. And then Joe, Joe Wallach went on to talk about how um, he aims to solve that problem by uh, marketing his products in pot, bottle form, in pill form, liquid form, <clears throat> to, uh, at, um, at prices that may cause a knee-jerk reaction. But there are some things where you could uh, you could approach the nutritional um, you could you could make a better uh, nutritional approach more economically, and that is, uh, for example, with this copper therapy, you can c consume copper um, that uh, it, it it displaces itself in the water. It may it's trace, but it, it may not be like so much measurable, but it's there. You can taste it in the water. Just like, mm, mm. you know what's weird about this is the water seems to um, attack this the, that that uh, say gunkiness, saliva, or what have you. It's it seems to clear the throat more. Normally, water is like kind of slimy out of the tap water. It's just a, a hint of it, and this copper seems to do that. Now why, you know, with all these homes that have copper pipes, why don't they, why don't they have that, um, that copper taste? And that's strange, you know, if, if you don't taste the copper, it may not be there. We have, um, for a grid system, all iron pipes and steel. We also have a lot of plastic in the homes. There really aren't a lot of copper pipes um, for money savings now. It's just very expensive to use it. Uh, but yeah, I can't explain why we're not getting a, a lot of trace. Maybe some homes are getting more trace copper than others. I don't know. But I can certainly taste the difference between drinking this water, the same water in a plastic cup, uh, from a copper cup, from my copper cup. Um, and I've been drinking it for years. Um, I made a previous video over a year ago about it. Just this this very copper cup. It's, this is another ode to it. Um, it it uh, it has the copper has the ability to kill bacteria. It takes some time, but the bacteria electrically uh, like charge themselves and zap themselves. And this is uh, this copper is also a deterrent for slugs because they get annoyed by that, that electrical charge they feel. Um, copper is of course used in the transport of electricity. It's a very good conductor, or very, not conductor, very good um, say ch transporter, such a, as almost as well as gold or silver. Very powerful very antibacterial, they'll kill um, the bacteria. Hospitals could use it more, but it's expensive. Um, they, hospitals could prevent disease better uh, with this. I'm gonna end this here.